I will now, uh, we'll start tonight uh, with public hearing, so calling that to order. Uh, first up on the agenda, 2.1, uh, adoption of this public hearing agenda. Moved by Councillor Pearson, seconded by Councillor Blanchett. All in favor? It's carried. Under 3.1, I will read a public hearing statement as it loads. This public hearing being held on April 11th, 2023 at the Village of Valmont Council Chambers at 735 Cranberry Lake Road in Valmont, BC is being convened pursuant to the terms of the Local Government Act prior to consideration of one item. Temporary use permit 2302 temporary residential structure at 1292 Fowler Place. At a public hearing, any person present who believes they are affected by a matter being considered shall be given an opportunity to be heard on the matter contained in the proposal. Members of the public speaking to the proposal should at the appropriate time commence your address to this council by stating your name and simply your area of residence, at which time you may give us the benefit of your views concerning the proposal. Everyone who deems their interests are affected shall be given the opportunity to be heard at this meeting. No one will be or should feel discouraged or prevented from making their views known. All who submit comments at this public hearing will restrict their remarks to matters contained in the proposal and it is my responsibility as chairperson of this meeting to ensure that all remarks are still restricted. At the conclusion of a public hearing, Council may, without further notice, give whatever effect Council believes proper to the representation made at the hearing. Uh, under 4.1 for temporary use permit 2302, we have a presentation by our planning staff, Ms. Krista Eddy. Good evening. So tonight's public hearing is in regards to one item, temporary use permit 2302, proposing to allow one recreational vehicle to be parked at 1292 Fowler Place and used as a residence for a period of two years. The property is legally described as Lot 21, District Lot 7355, Caribou District Plan EPP 66975. The proposed application satisfies the requirements outlined in the Temporary Residential Structure Policy 83 uh, for the provision of water, sewer, power servicing, and garbage disposal. The location of the unit is compliant with setback requirements and the RV has been confirmed to have the CSA Z240 RV certification. At the regular council meeting of February 28th, council gave initial approval of the proposed temporary use permit. Adjacent property owners have been notified and of the proposal and invited to provide feedback at tonight's public hearing or via written submissions. Thank you, Ms. Eddie. And under 4.2, have you received any written submissions? As of noon today, no, we haven't. Thank you very much. Under 4.3, is there a proponent present for a presentation? Under 4.4, .4, are there any public comments on matters considered in this proposal? Are there any questions under 4.5 by council to staff? Then I will under five adjourn this public hearing. On to regular business. Now call the Tuesday, April 27th, or April 11th, 2023, uh, regular meeting of council to order. And under 2.1, we do have uh, to adopt uh, the agenda as amended, pardon me, different cover page, uh, as amended to include 8.5 addition to grant request. What's council's wish? So move, council, uh, Councillor McLean, second by Councillor Mullock. Discussion, any uh, deletions, additions? Hearing none, all in favor? Adoption of the previous minutes under 3.1 of March 28th, 2023, regular meeting of council. Move by Councillor Pearson, second by Councillor Mullock. Discussion, any errors or omissions arising? All in favor, it's carried. 3.2, adoption of the minutes of the March 14th, 2023 public hearing be adopted. Moved by Councillor McLean, second by Councillor Blanchett. Any errors or omissions arising? Discussion, all in favor, 
It's carried. Light reading file. Uh, does anyone want to bring it to service? None. On to administrative reports, 8.1. Uh, building inspection report, March 2023, that the report be received. Moved by Councillor Pearson, second by Councillor Mullock. Discussion? All in favor? It's carried. 8.2, bylaw enforcement summary report for February 2023, that it be received. Moved by Councillor Blanchett, second by Councillor McLean. Discussion? All in favor? Oh, you Sorry, the discussion? I just wanted to say very, very busy. Indeed. Further discussion? All in favor? It's carried. 8.3, bylaw enforcement summary, March 2023, that the report be received. Moved by Councillor Pearson, seconded by Councillor Mullock. Discussion? All in favor? It's carried. 8.4, temporary use permit 2302. At 1292, file replace. Recommendation here that temporary use permit 2302 for 1292. File replace legally described as lot 21, district lot 7355, Caribou District Plan EPP 66975, proposing a temporary residential structure for up to two years be approved. Moved by Councillor Blanchett, second by Councillor McLean. Discussion? All in favor? It's carried. The uh, additional items, so 8.5, uh, additional grant request for the Alice Olson 100th birthday celebration with a recommendation that council approves a grant in the amount of $210 to Sherry Tinsley for the purpose of covering additional costs associated with the community hall rental for a 100th birthday celebration for Alice Olson. Move by Council Pearson, second by Councilor Mullock. Discussion? All in favor? It's carried. Uh, bylaws and policies 9.1 amendments to the anti idling bylaw to allow enforcement through bylaw notice enforcement and dispute adjudication. Have a few recommendations to consider, Council. Number one, that anti idling amendment bylaw number 874 2023 refer, uh, receives first, second, and third reading. Moved by Councillor Blanchett, second by Councillor McLean. Discussion? All in favor? carried number two the bylaw notice enforcement and dispute adjudication amendment bylaw number 875 2023 receives first second and third moved by councillor mclean second by councillor blanchett discussion all in favor it's carried and three that municipal ticket information amendment bylaw number 876 2023 receives first second and third reading moved by councillor blanchett second by councillor mclean Discussion? All in favor? It's carried. Uh, no new business uh, this evening. Uh, does anybody have a notice of motion to bring forward? Uh, council reports 12.1. Uh, Councillor Blanchett. Uh, April 6th, we had a wayfinding meeting. So we're just putting together the signage, the colors. You, there's going to be blue with white. Um, 12 inch, 12 foot post? Yeah, 12 yeah. foot post. 12 foot post, yeah. So we're just getting all our finalization. Our next thing is to do our drive around and figure out where to put the posts. So that's everything. That's it. Thank you. Councillor Mullock? Uh, this month. My commitments were all loaded to the second half of the month. So for tonight, I have nothing to report. That's excellent. Excellent. Uh, Councillor Pearson. Okay, uh, March 29th, had a, a morning briefing session with Trans Mountain Project Liaison Kent Taylor, uh, along with Mayor and Senior Staff, uh, continuing discussion on uh, how the project's gonna transition as we slowly work our way towards an end, we hope. Uh, also on March 29th, I uh, sat in on a Towards Collaborative Governance webinar session. It was part two of a three-part uh, webinar series put on by the Unif 
First City of Fraser Valley on uh, First Nations and reconciliation. Uh, March 30, had first session with the uh, Valmont Secondary School Youth Council students. Um, had four, four students involved, uh, one of which is a total political nerd, and it was kind of interesting to self see. Self-described, I'm guessing. Yes, uh, self-described. And uh, so we had a, a really good discussion on just uh, basically roles and responsibilities to start. So we're going to follow up this week with a second meeting and dive into uh, debating some resolutions. And I'm going to go back in the files and pull a couple that have already run through council and see if they have the same results as uh, council did back in the day. So uh, April 3rd, uh, sat in uh, remotely along with Mayor uh, Torgerson, CAO Depino, and Vilmont Community Forest GM and President for the Old Growth Robson Valley Timber Supply Area discussion. Uh, April 3rd that afternoon, Community Forest meeting. Uh, April 5th, Vilmont Historic Society meeting. April 6th, also the Wayfinding Working Group meeting with Councillor Blanchett. CEO Depino and Edioges Lombardi uh, working towards finalizing some uh, signage to guide people through the community once they get off the highway. And April 8th attended Alice Olson's 100th birthday celebration, which felt like the whole community was in the hall. It was uh, very well attended. Um, had the pleasure of sitting with NLA Bond and uh, and Dorothy for, for the event, and it was a, a great afternoon. So that's my report. Thank you. Councillor McLean. Um, so on Thursday, March 30th, we had a Columbia Basin Trust Local Government Committee negotiations update. And on Monday, we had uh, the, the third, April the third, we had a Columbia Basin Regional Advisory Committee negotiations update and socioeconomic performance update. On Tuesday, April the 4th, we again had um, a local government committee and Indigenous check-in. Uh, the next session will be number 16 and that will be held back in British Columbia. Um, round 16, the latest session, the negotiators focused on strengthening cooperation to support aquatic life and biodiversity in the Columbia River Basin, ongoing studies regarding salmon reintroduction, flood risk management, and the connection between hydropower operations and Canada's desire for greater flexibility in how its treaty dams are operated. So we are meeting in person in Creston, which is a long ways away on May 1st and 2nd to have um, kind of a strategy session before the next session comes up for the local government. So the strategy will be May 1st and 2nd, and the next session will be the 16th and 17th of May. Okay. Where are the negotiations being held? It just says BC, but I've heard Kelowna. International Airport makes sense. Yeah. What was, uh, I guess I should probably give you my report before we receive. Uh, March 29th, uh, in attendance for an information session with Trans Mountain. Uh, March, uh, sorry, uh, April 3rd, virtual attendance to the uh, Robson Valley TSA OG inventory review. Uh, April 8th, uh, Centennial Celebration for Alice Olson, uh, and I wrote a speech, but way too long. Uh, but I thought, ah, she's not getting any younger, she can listen to me for a bit. Uh, April 10th, I uh, had a real, uh, really cool uh, webinar with Strong Towns, and this time around it was with the finalists for the Strongest Town contest, uh, which was Brattleboro, Virginia and and everyone will know this Saranac Lake New York has made it to the finals so uh, no shame on us for losing out to them during the sweet 16 uh, 
lot of really cool a recorded session so when I get the link I will share it but a lot of really cool community initiatives coming out of those two smaller communities small five to sixteen thousand people uh, and then uh, today at a uh, uh, two things uh, at a Columbia Basin Trust Executive Committee meeting and I also met um, Andy can't remember his last name so uh, it's the new mill manager the uh, Bama Community Forest was able to fill that role. Um, and then uh, I do have plan, I, I am trying to plan a uh, in-person attendance at the April 25th uh, old growth uh, recommendation strategy, strategy recommendation, sorry, multi-sectoral planning session in PG. Uh, I would ask for council support for a day of travel there and back. It's free attendance, but you've got to get there and got to get back. Mm -hmm. Moved by Councillor Pearson, second by Councillor Blanchett. Discussion on that. All in favor? It's carried. That's the end of my report. Motion to receive. Moved by Councillor Pearson, second by mm -hmm. Councillor Mullock. Discussion on the reports. Just a comment. Uh, a little lengthy, but excellent speech. <laughs> Five, six minutes. It was significant. It was, yeah. you know, there, there was snoring. She was worth the six minutes. There, right? there was people yeah. in the audience that had to go outside for a smoke. Okay. okay. That's okay. <laughs> uh, a question on the wayfinding signage. You're looking to position these things, and you remember uh, when we both sat on the Chamber of Commerce, um, there was a interest in kind of doing a swap of people from the McBride community or Chamber of Commerce coming in and mm -hmm. going for a drive and saying, you know, it would be really good if I would was directed here from here. Was there any sort of conversation around that? We haven't this time, no. Okay. It's this is our second drive through. Like it's, we have done a drive through before. Yeah. And then we also had somebody from the chamber a couple of years ago, do a drive-through that had just moved here, um, do and say, "Hey, where, what, where do you think?" So it has been done loosely mm. years before. Okay, because yeah. it's one thing to find your own way around. But yeah, no, exactly. You're trying to get people off. The, when you get people off yeah. the highway, you but don't know anything. Yeah. yeah. Councillor Pearson. And to your point, um, these will be very uh, general signage. Mm -hmm. We're not pointing out individual businesses. Um, kind of like the previous iteration. Uh, it'll be village center, Centennial Park, uh, washrooms, um, and then when we get to down towards Main Street, it'll be guiding toward people towards Legion, museum, and library, that sort of thing, so. Okay. Any further questions, comments, and reports? All in favor of receipt? It's carried. Hmm. Why does this always go back to the top? So now I'll look to give notice uh, under 15 point, oh, public comments. Are there any public comments under 14.1? The, the gallery is full, so I've, I'm not sure how I missed that. Now under 15.1, uh, I'll ask to, uh, for motion to give notice to an in-camera meeting for consideration of one item per section 91K of the community charter to discuss matters related to section K, negotiations and related discussions respecting the proposed provision of a municipal service that are in their preliminary stages and that in the view of the council could reasonably be expected to harm the interests of the municipality if they're held in public. Moved by Councillor Pearson, seconded by Councillor Blanchett. All in favor, it's carried. <laughs> 